elevators began to disappear in Saskatchewan in the 1960s. Gone but not forgotten, Tales of the Disappearing Grain Elevators, published by New West Press. I think that what happens is that we have this greater separation between the farmer or the primary producer and the consumer. But each family wrote their own history. But I think if we had to, to do over again, I'd write yours and you'd write mine. <laughs> and a lot of towns had three, four, and more. Um, for instance, at one time, Indian Head had 13 elevators. The farmers would often say, when the grain elevator goes, the town is going soon. And we saw that happen very often. So they have our seed, all our research, from what we did for 50 years. So talk about uh, biopiracy. They got the grain elevator for one dollar, and I have found a contract in the office, and it shows the previous sale, which I think was two hundred forty-five thousand. <laughs> so we got a real deal, right? <laughs> or there was a massive depreciation there. I'm not sure which. If we were transported up this elevator, you and me. 